Okay. I'd have to read. But I think when you put the fish in there, you need two, you need two of each type. So if I wanted to breed co the raw fish, which is the cod, for example, I'd need two cod, and you'd need to feed them something. And they would breed just like other animals. Now, I don't know how, if you collect drops the same way, but you hop in the water and you kill them, that would be something I need to read about the the mod. So, yeah. Um, I, I would probably, if I were to do that, which I don't foresee me, I don't know if I'm going to do, I would probably want to make the fish tank bigger than one block wide. <sighs> so yeah. But now we have fish tank blocks. Is there another step to that particular... No. So the next thing, egg came first. Oh, that's the next thing we'll have to do. I bet this uses the infuser. I read about making some adhesive. I wonder what happens if I infuse life into it. Unfortunately, I haven't read about adhesive yet, so we're not ready to do this. <laughs> nope. Embers. Yep, not ready for embers. Ah, it's embers alchemy. So, yep, we're not here yet. It's not a complicated recipe when we do get there. Looks like it's iron. Iron. Yeah, it's got an iron. Um, yep. Okay. We need to do lead plates. Are they done? They are. Let's get our hammer back out that we just put away. Let's make an item vacuum. And we're going to use this chest. Oh, it only made four. Hang on. Alright. Item vacuum. So that should be done. Automation. Yep. Finish that one. So then... With a piston, I might be able to create a device that is able to break cobblestone in a cobblestone generator. It will still break them apart into rocks, but at least it is automatic. I've not been using the rocks for squat. So essentially, this is a gravel maker. <laughs> I know you can glue the rocks back together to make cobble, but why when you can just go spend five minutes with your bane of cobble and get... A decent amount of cobble right now. Not interested in doing that right now unless the unless the recipe is easy. That's easy. That's just iron and lead plates with the piston that we've already prepped to make gears to do a pump so we just we need to do two um, gears the tin gears here we need four um, mm -hmm. there's several different varieties the forestry one shows up in the metal press here's the one that shows up here yeah, you need four ingots to do this one as well. So we need eight ingots worth of tin. Do not know if I have that at the moment. <laughs> Let's go up and look. Let's put you in here and you in there. All this excess stuff. Whoop. Check our strainers that I haven't looked at and see if there's any tin rocks in here. And collect those so we can make the gears for the pump. Got silver and lead in that one. Oop, 
Um, tin, 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 tin. All right, we've got some tin. Okay. Now we need to make um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. And is it set for ingots? It is. Which is not what we want, crud. We want you. I don't know if it made one or two ingots. Already need a gear. Okay, piston. Make sure. The only variation is that gear and lever slabs instead of planks. So we need to do that. All right, do I have it on me? I don't. We need to go get that saw to make the slabs. Okay. So we hop up here. And I need. Oh, which saw does the wood slabs? That one. Okay. That'll give me two. We'll hang on to you. I should make, uh, find out what I need to make a pouch to make my backpack larger. Because before too long, it's going to be all the way full. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then that. And do I not have any sticks? Will this work for a lever? Yes, okay. And we put the two levers in there, and now we're just waiting on two gears. We have one. Okay, so we need... Yeah, that much. So there's one piston, and for that we are going to make, what was it we were working on? The automatic breaker. We need what plates? Breaker. Four lead, three iron. We don't have the lead up here, so we need to actually make it, and I'm not sure and we're short by one nugget. Can you be insta-killed by a Gru wife while flying? I'm gonna guess yes, just because that sounds like something that could happen. <laughs> Alright, let's do you and you. And lead, do I not have? New Lord GB, thank you for the follow. Alright, there's my other tin gear. 
There we go. Okay. Two pistons. We need iron plates as well. And since we just made the lead plates there, let's do the other ones over here. Or not. Oh, it broke and it didn't finish my Okay, so we're on plates. I could melt the ingots down, but I know I have. There we go. Um, I need three. All right, so if we, yes, we have it on plate. It's empty, we're good. Pop that in there. Let's put these in there. Um, let's grab the lead plates. We'll wait for the iron plates. Piston the lead. Okay. Apparently, Nisi can be killed by a Gru. <laughs> And let's see. Look at that. Owen is almost down as a boss mob there in the corner. Doing pretty good. One. <laughs> All right, what do we need for the pump again? Just in two tanks, bucket, iron plates. We need five iron plates. I don't think I have enough rocks down here for that. We should go check our ore berries. Because this is going to give me... Four. And then I've got three nuggets. So. All right. go. Are we out of... no, we're doing all right with heat, it's just iron takes longer. All right, automatic breaker made. Woo! Again, I don't think I'm going to use it for a cobble gen since, as it said, you get rocks. And I have plenty of rocks right now that I'm not even using. So we're going to leave that for now. We should probably make the drawer and the barrel. Um, I need to make another chest. To do that, I need my work blade. Do I need to have one? I've almost used this one up. I don't have any. Oh, look, sticks. To make the pins, I already have the fiber. I have enough planks. So we can do trap door. And then I need to grab iron ore berry. Just doing the one for now. Whoop! Thank you. Did not want to fall in here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Then we can make a regular chest. All right, so there's the two chests. We do need to make some slabs. Uh-huh. So, 
this and these will become a drawer and then it was that that and that becomes a barrel oh do they have to be oak that is a flaw if that's the case nope there it goes just took a second There it goes now. See, I like the way these look. Those look really neat. And it even says, shows, and has a number already. So it's already different than um, storage drawers. If you've ever used a storage drawer, let's take this out. Put it in there, it just shows it. You have to actually add upgrades to display amount that's in here. And it'll never tell you what it is. So that's one thing I really like about these wooden um, barrels, other than they look really neat. So that's a possibility of using these, just be even if it is a couple of planks more than that. So there is that to keep in mind that we might be using it. Um, put those in there. Four, we need one more plate to make that pump. How are we doing? We're getting there. Okay. So then when that is done, that's here in the survival line right there. <clears throat> and you can pick up water and lava with the pump. Now um, does it auto output or does it need a pipe with an engine on top as well to pull out the fluid? I can't remember. I haven't used the Buildcraft pipe since regrowth. So, hmm. Quiz says you can also change the color of the barrels and change their looks. You can make them small vertical slabs. No way! Is that what the, um, well, there was an upgrade in here of some sort. Uh, yeah, buh, buh. these, the painting, painter, is that what that's for? How do you, how would you make it a vertical slab looking skinny one? That's what I want to know. There's a hammer. I don't know what the hammer does unless it, it the hammer is for taking off upgrades. Hammer change looks painter for color. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Good to know. <clears throat> I will want to play with those. Do I have my other? I do. All right, pump. Let's pump. Um, there, there, there. Oh, look, I already had iron plates. I didn't pay attention. Not that I won't use these iron plates. There's the pump. Yay! All done. Does that complete this whole chapter? Is this survival chapter all done with that then? Looks like it. It didn't open up anything new, so I believe we have completed the first chapter. We can now survive. <laughs> we can survive. Um, so we can't do the egg stuff until we get into embers. Uh, can we get into the bees? We can make bee houses now that we have the Tinker's Construct crafting table. Um, can't make it until you're able to use the Tinker's Construct crafting table. So we have some modular machines to make. Um, let's see. This is doable. 
make some more. I think these needed copper, a lot of copper to make the frames. So we're gonna need to smelt down some copper. Not a problem, but this, <laughs> and it's likely we're gonna need to make seed oil. So we'll be doing what, um, was it Fluffy Cloud? Said with the, using the crucible. Uh, so yeah, let's do, let's get this way. Let's, let's get started with bees. Um, at least doing the, this quest, because I bet, yeah, getting into bees. Oh, we also, oh, I'd also want to get some sifting started. What's the recipe for the hovering hourglass? Covering our glass. Oh, that's just glass and weighted pressure plates, which are the gold plates. No, if it's this early in progression, he's not going to make it require redstone to do this. We just do need to make gold plates. So we need 18 nuggets. Make sure this is on plate. Chop them in there. They go melty, melty really fast. I saw glass um, at the other place. I must have made some for the initial quest of proving that I could make glass. Let's grab that piece. Oh, you're right, it is 36 nuggets. There, so we should be able to use this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, and head back here. I need to be getting those ore berries. Um, what do I need for copper? For berries, I need oranges. Okay, so how much copper do I have in here? Let's convert you. And I have one, two, three let's do that there's one two three look at are you done there's my four plates let's convert you do back to ingots we'll put you in there and we'll make our Hovering hourglass, waiting for server. Oh, that's always fun. The Effie just joined and that's now causing all sorts of funness for the server. <laughs> yep, Effie did just join. Mm-mm, uh-oh. Yeah, the server's having a meltdown. <laughs> There it goes. Just thought I'd let you know that before we. There we go. Woohoo! Two weighted pressure plates and a piece of glass give me a Batania hovering hourglass. Fantastic. So we have that one done. And we need to do the sifting next which requires us to make a room with the wooden shakes. So where will I do that at? Um, it might be good to do that, to dig this way and put it back that way, maybe behind the foundry room. 
Um, I could go that way. But I think I want to do water strainers that way. We might be doing some digging to clear out a room um, to get the sifting going. We'll probably have to do it manually for a while and just to get questing going. I want the portal. Um, so while we're here, Let's pick up the sieve and the mesh and the shakes. I don't think I need more than the 64, but since I made more than 64, um, I was using the, I've got the shakes up here too. I don't think the stairs count as full blocks. I only have one anyway, so I guess that really doesn't matter, does it? Um, so we have that. All right, and back to the base we go. Let's place these copper ore berries. Copper, yep. Well, yes, walk right into that. We've got copper. Um, yeah, so let's go this way for, um, doing the sifting. Uh, how far back am I going to need to go? Let's zoom in our little mini-map a touch so that we can keep an eye on that. And this will probably be one of the last rooms right here. We'll probably go down a different area um, in the base to add more rooms to. Because we have all the space in the world. Okay, we're almost to the edge here. I can see on the mini map. Where we are. All right, so that puts us at the end of both the foundry room and the Orberry farm. And so what I'm gonna do is, let's see, we'll open up We'll put this at the end of the hall, so we'll just open up a room here, and this will just be as far as you can go down this hall. We won't be able to go that way at all because there are rooms there, and that's fine. Um, and then we'll do the decoration in the hall. So yes, we have a bit of digging to do. Let's see. Sifting. What size? Um, these. How many can I put together? Is it three by three or five by five ultimately? Anyone know? I think it's five by five. A hundred blocks interior size, that's not a problem. Five by five, thank you, Zero Life. I appreciate that. Um, my inventory is so very full right now. <laughs> Do I have more space in this chest? Let's put you here and the shakes here. That and that. My excess clay bucket. Put the copper in there. That for making chests, which we'll want to make one of soon. That's for water, so we can put that in there. Let's open our backpack and put the flint saw and hand saw away. And is it time to eat a 
fish or is oh, wrong button protein and let's do the protein I don't know if eating just one helps oh apparently it does so the next thing we'll want to do is fat so we'll put that in there and we'll get our jerky out so we'll do that next all right open your pack by pressing L aha thank you I didn't know that 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 helps with not needing to keep it on my hotbar then <laughs> okay so this room for the strainers needs to be a hundred blocks of interior size it's not hard to do when we need a five by five space um, here I think I won't run into the other there's that wall so I need to not go there I need to go over one so that I can actually decorate the inside of the room three one two three four five six seven eight nine let's do nine this way um, put on some glue prevention two three four five six seven eight nine and we'll go nine this way as well so one two three four six seven eight nine ha hmm we'll have to move that engine through prevention here all right so we can move it that's not a problem because I think it's the one on the back of the going into the chest right where did you get placed no idea but yeah it goes into the chest so we can go down move you all right too far down <laughs> With the lever. There. There we go. Now that way I can um, decorate this wall space. That's why I was doing this. This wall can eventually be something. Okay, so we've done that. Now we just have to do, do I want to do it three tall or four? I actually really like four tall. So we'll get that. There on both sides. And these I only have one sieve right now but I will want to make a 5x5 five five setup so we got to keep that in mind oh we'll have to move that lever too probably I'll do that when I actually get there and we want, I want a long room that's why we're doing nine and nine but I don't need I don't need it to be super deep. If it's five by five on one end, we'll have storage for stuff on the other, plus any kind of auto crafting of taking small pieces and turning them into bigger pieces. Um, five, six, seven. We'll do it nine deep. So we've got 18 long and nine deep. One, two, three. Well, actually, it's eleven with this wall, isn't it? No, this is nine. Okay, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. This pick is gonna break soon. I should be using the Bane of Cobble. Well, there it goes. Make sure that's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it is. All right. So we've got that. Let's make ourselves another pick. Um, and then we'll start carving this room out so that we can use it. Um, we should have the iron available. Yeah, let's do an iron pick. It'll last longer. All right. Should we... I don't have any more coconuts at the moment. That's what we're waiting on is coconuts. And then we just planted the copper. Let's increase our tin. What fruit does tin need? Tin or berry needs cherries. So let's do that real quick. Do I have tin in here? I do. We'll say four, and uh, let's go grab four cherries. One, two, three, four. And then we're done with this. We will continue digging out the strainer room. One there, and then three. One, two, three. Good, good. Your coconuts on a tree in a chunk for I have it chunk loaded. Yeah, you I have it chunk loaded. <laughs> I don't think you can see it from here. Oh, yeah. Here's where we are. The circle where I'm. I'm. We're actually underneath here, and this is where the coconut tree is. Wait, is that the coconut tree? No, this is my house. This is the spruce tree. The coconut tree is right there. So, yep. And this square that you can see, kind of see some of, which I'll need to completely uncover, is going to be my storage room. It's going to be really big. Um, I plan, if I have time, to try and dig out at least the middle portion of it, because there's a lot of mountain here on the inside, so that I can actually start building it, because I'd like to stop living out here. That's why we're moving things. That's why we're getting the strainers moved. That's why we're setting up sieves over here. We're trying to move out of our home, out of our primary starting spot and end up over here where I want to be. So yeah. <laughs> All right, let's use the Bane of Cobble because you can use it on the basalt. It'll go a bit faster that way. And yep. Wish we could use something faster on ash block. I know I can make an iron shovel, and I will when this one breaks, but wish it was faster. Wish iron was faster. Just fly through all this ash. So 
what kind of design should I do in the um, sifting room that we're going to be setting up? Let's try to think about this. We need the wood shakes in it. Um, let's see. Wood shakes. Um... porcupine design how helpful is that <laughs> it not it not helpful <laughs> just trying to think um I wonder. I don't know what blocks I want to use, so I'm trying to just brainstorm real quick while I flip through these things. Um... I'm using that in the halls, so I don't really want to use all that in the rooms also. You know, I suppose there's living wood. We can do the the wood shakes and living wood. I bet they have a similar color. Ooh, or the Portuguese pavement. Hmm. Um, what do I need to make? I I can do it with coal. Slime we don't have a lot of. Wheat we have a ton of, but I don't like that yellow color. Red we don't, can't do, can't do. The white is the cheapest. The white is the cheapest, guys. So we can consider doing the white with the wood shakes, or even like the black with the wood shakes, but then that might be too much design. All right, I'm gonna take my five minute break and feed the cats before they chew my arm off here and make some more coffee. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 